Hello friends, in this video we will explore facet wrapping of the scatter plot. That means if multiple colors are there on a single plot, we can split them into different uh, subplots. So that is called as facet wrapping. So we have seen this example where uh, we have uh, tried to see the relationship between D1 and mutation and we have added the color aesthetic that means color the point with respect to the GDR variable. So now if we add one more layer over here, so we will get this kind of point, right. So now it is very difficult to see because lots of points are, you know, completely overlapped uh, on the top of each other. So we cannot see. So to further uh, make it more clear way to, you know, convey your uh, information. So we can use, uh, there is a function called facet wrapping. So where we are telling that this split this plot into based on this GDR, okay. So now we say that facet wrap and now tilt GDR means we are giving a formula over here that means uh, split them with respect to the GDR column because the color is given uh, with respect to GDR and we say that number of columns equal to 3. So what will happen now that plot now individual colors will be now split but the X and Y remains constant okay because X and Y is fixed and we are saying that uh, split them with respect to GDR. So the X and Y will remain same uh, that means the, the plot between D1 and mutation in uh, each of these uh, categories how it will change. Now you can see there is an upward trend over here and here see and also you can see there are less point over here compared to this. So this is more denser and here you can see there's a close you know it's the here the spread is more over here and towards the end spread is more and here the spread is the highest one. So this way at least in this example we could see some kind of uh, minor differences uh, with respect to GDR. Okay so let's uh, let's try this. So first what we will do uh, again uh, this is just I am loading it uh, so first ggplot and you type the df data, data frame then you put the aesthetic x equal to d1 and y equal to mutation and then color is with respect to let us say gdr and now just simply type geometric underscore point so you will see this simple point over here. So now if we uh, now we will add one more layer here facet underscore wrap and we say that do with respect to uh, you know GDR and number of column equal to 3. So what will happen? So now this is now split into this thing. So let us say if I say number of column equal to 2, so it will now do like 2 to each number of column. So that there are 5 GDR are there right. So that will be divided into this 5 category. Okay. So now interestingly if I do now add another layer. Okay. Smooth. Okay. So what will happen on each of this now the trend line will be drawn okay. So now you see that we have the facet wrapped with respect to GDR and we added a trend line smooth layer. So now you can see the smooth layer on the this thing. So if I, uh, if I remove this facet wrapping uh, and just simply add smooth uh, so what will happen so we have seen that it will all the smooth line will be on the single line. So it is very difficult to visualize, right? So that's why now you add a point layer and you add a uh, facet wrapping and smooth layer. So the order doesn't matter. That means if I put, let's say, uh, instead of smooth layer, I can do this one is point, then smooth, okay, and then you facet wrap. So the results will be same, okay. So again, we got now five different split. So if we want to do uh, the same but instead let us say uh, do uh, color with respect to pathway and uh, facet wrap again with respect to pathway and let us say number of column is equal to 3. So what will happen now? Now the splitting is now with respect to the pathway variable. There are 7 pathways are there and now you can see there is a trend is completely different, right? So for pathway 1 the trend is like this, for pathway 2 3 and now 4, 5, 6 and 7 they are completely different kind of trend we are seeing. So this is more appealing compared to the previous plot without facet wrapping. Okay. So that is why you should use facet wrapping wherever it is possible. Now slightly complex way like uh, another thing that we may do. Let us say that color is with respect to GDR okay, but facet wrap is with respect to pathway. So now this will uh, create another complex plot. So now you see the faceting is with respect to pathway 1. So that means we have splitted the points uh, with 7 uh, different uh, pathways 
So that means if 5000 genes are there, so now there is now the pathways are separated and within this pathway, so now we are plotting what D1 versus mutation and within that the color points are colored or the lines are colored with respect to the GDR. So now you can see that you can uh, tune the uh, this thing, you know, uh, these two and get an another uh, ways of uh, another interesting observation or another way to convey your idea. So in a single plot here, we are not only giving GDR over here and we are giving the pathway over here. Sorry. Just a second. Control two. Okay. So now uh, I am adding one more complexity uh, means here I am now adding uh, the shape is with respect to tissue. Okay, now again you see, uh, so now we have two uh, you know properties and faceting is with respect to this. Okay, so pathway are splitted and within that we have not only color and now we have the tissue uh, this thing. Okay, uh, and again you can add one more layer over here. Uh, Let us say uh, now size it is respect to the D3 uh, uh, expression. Okay, so now we are uh, adding uh, even more complex, uh, it will take some time, yeah. So now you see we have, uh, it's uh, got complicated, but yeah, pathway by split, now the color is with respect to GDR and the shape of the points are with respect to, uh, you know, this thing, uh, mm, uh, with respect to uh, the tissue and the thickness is or the size of the points are with respect to D3. So you can see that within this uh, now we can add multiple uh, aesthetic and uh, point you give then a layer you give and the facet wrapping you can give a variable by which we can uh, split the plot into multiple uh, this thing. Okay. So yeah. So we have seen this uh, faceting we saw with trend line we saw and yeah we have seen this facet pathway variable also we have seen. We have seen. Okay. Cool. So yeah, so that's all about facet wrapping. It is a, another uh, better way to convey your uh, uh, you know visualization plot to you know more clearly compared to all everything in a single plot. So in the next video, we will uh, now we have seen we have covered the scatter plot. Now we will see how to you know annotate like how to change the title and let's say more uh, make it more attractive and increase the font size let's say of this thing and this thing sometimes by default when you see the plots those will be a very small size right so we sometimes need to change it so we will see how to change title access levels and the legends like we want do not want over here let's say we want over on the bottom side and how can we change the scale like not only 0 to 3 let's say increase the scale from 0 to 5 so that way so these all you know some modification ad hoc modification annotation that we can do so we'll see in the next video so thanks for watching support the channel thanks a lot